Zaporozhye. I think it was for me really inspirational. It was really uplifting that as a group of rabbis, we were able to go and learn about a community outside of our country and learn about how we have a role to encourage people to think about their responsibility to a Jewish community in Ukraine. And my positive image and my hope is that we as rabbis can take that on and inspire our communities also to get involved. I came to the Ukraine and I thought, after Tikvatelu, what hope is there? What future is there? But for now, the Jewish Community Center and the Shul, supported by World Jewish Relief, which includes the people in their homes, it includes the people out of work being retrained for jobs. The World Jewish Relief is giving the message of hope. I'm Israel, I'm Israel, I'm Israel. Today, I gained another perspective altogether. The Jews in the United Kingdom can look after themselves. The Jews in the Ukraine who have endured the pogroms, the Holocaust and communism cannot. In my perspective on what can be done and what is being done has been completely changed by this trip. Sadly, unfortunately, we went to visit families in which their living conditions is simply undescribable. We came in and our hearts were really broken. We must do something about it. World Jewish Relief, together with, with their wonderful partners, uh, the Joints, are already doing amazing work. Uh, we can do more. I would really try to inspire as many people as possible to be part of this uh, really important work. This trip with World Jewish Relief to Ukraine has been remarkable for a few reasons widespread the effect of the conflict has been. There are people who are really, really suffering. We saw these people and we saw the work that's being done by World Jewish Relief and then we saw life come back to the Ukraine. One of the projects that the World Jewish Relief provides is known as Warm Homes. It warms each and every one of the people's hearts as they share stories, they share their lives together, people are matched and we visited one of these homes and it really was um, a heartwarming experience. Watching them smile to each other, the love that was in that room, the embrace, the warmth, the solidarity, the sense of community uh, really was inspiring and, uh, and we went away having our hearts very much warmed up. I was fascinated by the Get Back to Work project that the uh, IDPs were involved with, and how to help them get back on their feet. What a sophisticated system of, of getting businesses together, matching up people's skills with the available jobs. It's ingenious, and I thought the people there were working very hard, I thought that was very, very clever. I'm deeply inspired and moved by the people that we met who are physically or mentally disabled, yet through the help of the community and being able to lead meaningful lives. We met a couple called uh, Victor and uh, Irina who are both wheelchair bound. Seeing Victor and Irina being able to live independently, uh, but more than that, being part of a community, part of a family, was a very deeply moving experience. Eye-opening, amazing trip and I just encourage as many people as possible to do whatever they can to support the wonderful work the World Jewish Relief is doing in this area.